I'm Sarah. I'm going to be doing a review on Wagon Pet Gear. They're on Instagram and they also have a website. Um, before I purchased all of this gear, I was looking into different gear shops and researching and I noticed that um, no one really had done a review on YouTube about Wagon. So I just wanted to do this video so there was a review on um, their gear. So that's what this is. So before I go through every single thing, um, I'm just going to tell you what I have purchased from them um, so you can decide if you want to watch or not. <laughs> I have my invoice here, so that's why I'm looking down. So I got a basic collar, a shorty, which is a traffic lead, um, a pull strap, and I also got a wide front service dog harness and I got mine double layered. And I also had a custom add-on item, um, which is a backup strap for um, a prong collar. So I'll start out with the collar. This is just the basic collar. Um, I got it in evergreen with brass hardware upgrade. Um, and I really, really like it. It's I think 19 inches um, and this is what I have on Ollie every single day, has his tags on it, and this is just what we use all the time. This is the shorty or the traffic lead. It does come with an O-ring, floating O-ring, and I got this in white with evergreen, and again, the brass hardware upgrade if I didn't say that, um, and I think this is 10 inches, not including hardware. I got this in the standard version not the thin version and the next time i purchase um i need to get one that's a lot shorter it's just too long for me which is my fault <laughs> um and i will get it in the thin version as well this is the pull strap that i got um i got mine 11 inches not including hardware that's just the measurement of the bio thing um again with the white and evergreen with brass hardware upgrade and I really like it. I think it's beautifully done. This is a backup strap. Um, I, got, I got this custom made, which I really appreciate her doing. She kind of did it last minute and I added it after I placed the order. So, and she agreed to make it for me, which is very, very sweet. Um, so I got white with brass hardware to match everything else. Um, and I think this is like super short, like two inches maybe. Um, but it works and it's great and I appreciate her making it. And at the end, I will read off how I ordered all of this. It will also be in the description. If I forget anything, leave it in the comments and I'll help you out. But I'm going to go through his harness now. So again, this is Biothane, um, wide front, double layered harness with white and um, evergreen with all brass hardware upgrade. I got it completely adjustable for so the um girth i think is always adjustable but i got shoulders to be adjustable and the chest here to be adjustable as well i got a quick release buckle because i have eds and my fingers don't work super great um and then as you can see i did get it with a fixed semi-rigid counterbalance handle and I believe the measurement of the counterbalance is three inches tall and then I also got guide compatibility and I did get a semi-rigid guide handle and I think the measurement of this is seven inches and I love it a lot <laughs> and then I did want to show up close the branding on here um, I think I was one of the the first harnesses that she started doing her branding on it so I really like it a lot. So to go from how I ordered this, so I got the Y front service dog double layer Y front harness. Um, the colors, obviously the main color was white, secondary evergreen. I got everything in the gold slash brass hardware um, and that does come with a price upgrade um, and I knew I was going to pay extra for it but I really, really do like the brass, and that, that's just my preference. Um, I got the quick release buckle edition, which was really important to me, um, and it was worth the extra five bucks or whatever. 
um, adjustable shoulders, adjustable chest, guide compatibility. I did not get um, the extra belly, belly strap that you can add on. I got a permanent semi-rigid counterbalance handle, um, semi-rigid guide handle, and then the height of the CB handle was three inches from the top of Ollie's back, and then the guide handle length was seven inches. So this is Ollie's full setup. This is what it looks like. Can't wait to use this. For now, we use a one tigress. Um, this is the pull strap, the guide handle. Um, I do have this in training um, leash wrap that goes around here. I'm waiting for a little sign to be made for that. This is Ollie from the front. Um, I will be getting a chest plate for him for the harness. Um, this is what it looks like from above. This is the CB handle. This is the counter or the guide. And then I do have the pull strap on here just to show you guys. Right now I'm mainly using the guide. Um, and this is where it attaches here. As you can see up close. And as, as you can see up close, how beautifully done this is. Just look at the detail, attention to detail how beautifully done each part of this harness is. Like I can't express to you. Excuse the mess around, but Ollie does really, really enjoy it. I also have a gear tour uh, video up on my channel. So if you want to know where any of our other gear is from that Ollie is wearing, um, please go watch that video and everything is linked below in the description of that video so you can find everything that you want to find um, or you can just leave a comment below and I'll let you know where it's from. So I chose to go with Biothane um, because Ollie is a multi-purpose service dog in training right now um, but he one of his tasks is um, I need him to be able to do mobility um, in different ways. So having a harness that is able to do that is really, really, really important. And what you're using is really important. You can't just use fabric. You can't just use a fabric harness for um, the type of mobility that I need. Um, so that's why I decided to go with Biothane, and that's why I got a Y front as well. And just for reference, this is our first um, harness that I got him, and this is from Bridgeport. It's white with, uh, it's leather, um, with, um, I think it's a three inch rigid handle, so there is no flexibility there, um, and it is lined, and it they all come lined, so this is not great for summertime. So I knew I needed to get something that um, worked a little bit better for the summertime, that was waterproof, that um, wouldn't get stinky or smelly, and is easy to clean, easy to take care of. So Biothane just seemed like it was the best option for us, and that's why I decided to go with Wagon. So overall, um, Wagon pet gear, I absolutely am a huge fan of and will continue to purchase from them. I know that it was worth it for me um, to pay a little bit more because I really do trust this shop and I just know that there have been issues with some other gear shops and so um, I know that I can trust Wagon and I did have a small slight issue and it was really easy to take care of and she also let me add on something on top of my order which at the last minute which was very sweet of her to let me do like the customer service was absolutely amazing and on top of that Wagon does offer after pay so that was the only way I was able to afford to get this harness was because of after pay um, because she has that option on her website so I'm very appreciative of that um, otherwise, I would not be able to afford all of this. So, um, yeah, that's important to note. 
and I will be placing another order with them pretty soon because I do need to get a chest plate for Ollie. Um, I do want to order another shorty that is um, a lot shorter and I want the thin um, biothane instead of the standard and um, an over the shoulder multi-purpose leash from them as well. So I do need to place another order, uh, which I will be doing. I will be a returning customer of Wagon. I just really appreciate them. Um, really, really love their shop, love their work. Their um, quality is unmatched and I have purchased Biothane from other shops before, but um, like I, just something about like the quality of uh, even like the hardware that she uses is amazing. Um, I believe that she also used heavy duty biothane for the harness, which is huge. Um, and some other gear shops don't do that. Um, so that was really important to me and it was worth the extra bit of money um, up front because I knew it was gonna last. And if I did have any issues that um, I was gonna be able to get help with those issues. So yeah, so that was my review of Wagon Pet Gear. I hope it was at least somewhat helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment um, below and I'll be happy to answer anything. Um, I didn't go into the price prices because it wasn't actually on my invoice, but I have no problem talking about the prices, but you can even just go on their website and um, put in like, I did, I did this like 15 times because I was so excited about it, um, but you can just go into their website and like enter in everything and it'll tell you how much your harness is going to be. So you don't have to guess at how much it's going to cost you, um, which I really appreciate that option as well. So oh, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you again. And I'll be in a <laughs> I'll be in a <laughs> Thank you.